So uh, I, have a, I, have, I have a couple assistants today. Bees are flying. It's beautiful. The sun is peeking through. It hasn't peeked through at all today. But basically what I'm doing today is I'm just going to do my winter survival update. So today is April 1st. And April 1st is when I basically uh, uh, consider uh, a colony to have either died in the winter or overwintered. So anything that makes it to April 1st, I, I count as an overwintered hive. Now, if uh, in the future I start having colonies die in April, then I might have to reassess that decision. But where I'm at, uh, it just seems... The buildup starts pretty good around uh, uh, late March, so if I uh, if I get a colony to April 1st, then I consider it overwintered. So the big question now is, I don't need this jacket anymore. So, but uh, so the big question is, is uh, one, am I going to get stung? Uh, no. Anyway, the big question is, is how many colonies um, survived? So, I got my little apiary here at, on the property. In this one spot, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen colonies right here. Um, what do you want? Anyway, so um, I also have just about 50 yards from here my double nuke, which is two colonies. And then in the chicken yard, I have five uh, stacked nukes. So, how did my winter go? Um, I say really good. I am uh, ecstatic at my results. So, and the nice thing that um, I can take away from all this is the fact that I have a good grip on the colonies that did die as to why. Um, so, um, here goes it. And while I'm standing here, I can show you. This colony, right there, which one? Right there, that colony right there, was a three over three, I'm sorry, and <laughs> was three deeps, uh, eight frame deeps. And um, that colony was my strongest colony going into winter. However, there's one mistake, that colony uh, also, um, was just about, uh, excessively loaded up with honey by August and they were building up so fast that they ended up swarming and I found that colony, uh, I found the swarm underneath, it's really hard on this angle, that one, that, uh, purple one right there you see that little cover that I have I actually found the queen and uh, about a pound and a half of bees underneath that that lid now I wasn't 100% sure at the time uh, uh, whether or not uh, that was the colony that swarmed but I was a little concerned about it because of how strong it was it was almost too strong um, so that happened around October 1st. I'll see if I can maybe show a little picture somewhere, maybe here or something like that. I'm not really good at the editing thing too much, but I could show you a little picture maybe of that little swarm from October. Uh, but anyway, all I did, because I really didn't know where it came from, I essentially took that colony. I have feeder holes on the top. I took the, the cap off of that. And I swept the bees inside the hole, except for the queen. I didn't kill the queen. Oh, I'm sorry, I killed the queen. I pinched her. I really wish I wouldn't have done that, because uh, part of me wishes now that I had uh, 
uh, gone ahead and tried to put it in a five frame nuke box and uh, see if it would go. I've, I mean, I've been wanting to do uh, a five frame nuke for a while and I didn't do it. So I should have. But anyway, that colony died. Okay? This colony died. The colony right next to it is actually um, a VSH queen that I have. She's been through two winters now. She's very strong. She builds up very strong and she overwinters very strong. It's a very, very solid box of bees in there already. Uh, so I'm going to graft from that from that one right there. I'm going to graft from her this year. The colony next to it, that single with a um, medium over top of it, died very early, almost the same time as that one did. And I don't know exactly why that one died, but I did find the queen dead in there. Um, one of the things that I think happened was because they wouldn't take food, and usually when a colony won't take food while others are taking food, um, it's not a good sign. And so I think that I didn't get to treating them uh, till late because I left honey on that colony longer than the other colonies. And so I didn't treat uh, until probably August or so. And that's a real big no-no. Actually, I'm sorry, I treated in September. Yeah, because they had honey on them still. And that's a no-no for me. I don't, I don't go that late. And so that colony died. So basically right now, I am uh, I'm one for three. And you're probably saying, but you said you said you were doing pretty good, right? Well, let's go. Alive. 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 And as we go all the way around, everybody's alive. So every other colony except for those two colonies in here is alive. And as you can see, uh, so a number of these now, they all have three boxes. I added honey on top of a couple of them that were two, two deeps. I added a third box on top for honey. And so there's just to give them more food and to consume some of that honey for the buildup for the spring. So the only one I didn't do that to at this point is that little one back there but they're building up very strongly uh, that was a very weak nuke that i split uh, not weak but small it was a very small it was only two frames of brood and she built up pretty decent but you know it was it was about five frames of bees going into winter and she's doing really great right now she's kicking butt building up looks very healthy all these colonies the way that i um, the way that I treated for them, uh, all these late splits that I did in July, very, very low mite counts. I only found zero, one, two mites um, in a 300 bee sample uh, in a lot of these colonies. Uh, that big one back there, I didn't find one mite in that one. So, you know, uh, great. So in this particular spot right here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 alive, and 2 dead. I have two other colonies in a double nuke over here. And, uh, hey girl, I have two other colonies in a double nuke. And, of course, the double nuke came through winter with flying colors. And there's five other colonies in, this, in the chicken yard over here. And they're all five doing really good one of them is that swarm that I got uh, I think it was probably July or August um, and uh, I went and picked them up uh, about 25 minutes from here and uh, anyway they're still alive and uh, doing very well they overwintered very well and then I had three other colonies at a different yard from here and one of them died and I think the reason why that one died is because the cluster got too small. And part of that reason is, is they requeened themselves a little late. I had done a split in early July and that queen, they superseded her. So if you check out my videos, you'll see where one of them says, uh, 
one colony with two queens or something of that nature. I'll try to post a link. Um, that's the colony that ended up dying. So I think that they didn't build up enough. Hello. Where'd you go? Down my jacket? Probably. Anyway, I don't think they built up enough. And, um... She's on my neck somewhere. Anyway, I don't think they built up enough. And that, um... Uh, ended up causing them to die out. And they actually made it through most of the winter. But it seems like they, uh... They were about a size of a softball. And then we had, back in early March, it was really, really bad. And uh, it killed them. So that's it. So anyway, I came out of uh, winter with 23 colonies that survived out of 26. And that is what? About 88% survival rate for southwest Michigan for a relatively new beekeeper. Um, I think I'm going to take it. I'll take it. I'm happy. I got a big smile on my face. See? People say I don't smile, but I'm smiling. See? All right. Anyway, thanks for following along, and uh, I'm excited about this season. And hopefully I can show you some of the things that I've been doing and maybe help you out and learn from you as well. So you have a wonderful day. God bless.